Okay, now I'll show you how to apply the side panels. We have our Velcro uh, closure panel, which is going to be fitted on the bottom. I'll lay it here on the bottom of our cushion cover. Now this one I am not going to have wrap around because of the shape of the pillow and because the pillow is very soft. The, the, the pillows on the back portion of the couch are very soft and they'll be much easier to put in. So I'm only making the Velcro run along the bottom and not up the sides at all. So what you'll do first is you want to so your si regular side panels to the, um, the Velcro panel. And you do that by placing the two pieces together, right sides together. And we'll sew a 5 8 seam allowance to join those two pieces. Okay, and we're going to sew the Velcro panel. is very thick here because you've got two layers of Velcro and several layers of fabric. So when you come to that portion, you want to be very careful and go very slowly so that you don't break any needles. And you can move the hand wheel by hand to get over this large section if you feel like your machine is having difficulty getting over it. Next we'll apply that the side section to the bottom. We'll start at the bottom of our cushion. So I have my Velcro panel with the side panel attached to it. And I'm going to start right at the corner and you'll sew with a zipper foot to accommodate the piping that we have and start five-eighths of an inch from the end so that you have room to go around the corner later. Okay, and when you get to the corner, go right right to the corner, feel for that, that piping and kind of push it out of the way. Put your needle in and lift the foot. Pivot the fabric. Now it's a little bulky because of the Velcro. Just push that out of the way and make sure that everything is nice and flat on the bottom here. Now if you want to make it a little easier, we could take it off and just snip right at the corner. Just about a half an inch. And that will help the fabric bend around the corner. We'll place it back on. Feel for, feeling for the piping and checking to see that, that this, the fabric, the, um, the side panel is lined up with the edge of the top panel. And whenever you go on and off, you want to make sure you do a few back and forth stitches to secure and not that. You want to continue all the way around and go around the next corner in the same way. 